Hi, welcome to my basic look at the Cheetah MS800 Digital Wave Synthesizer. This was made in about 1992 by Cheetah International in the UK and it retailed for about £199. Cheetah were known beforehand for making computer peripherals, joysticks and the like. Um, first time I came across a Cheetah was the um, 7VA MIDI controller uh, keyboard which was very good certainly for the price of it and of course the MS6 analog synth module which was a very nice piece of kit. Sadly a year or so after um, the MS800 was released uh, Cheetah moved out of the synth market only to resurface in a different guise as Novation so a big thank you to them for that. So it's a 15-note polyphonic multi-timbral digital wave synthesizer and has a reputation of being one of the most difficult synths to program, um, partly because of its two-digit display and a couple of push buttons. Um, not intuitive and the operating system is like nothing you've ever come across before. Uh, the manual sadly doesn't help, it's typewritten and with quite a lot of um, cryptic notes and a lack of graphics. Um, I bought my module uh, at a music fair, um, probably 94 for £99, and um, I used it as a preset machine. A couple of years ago I thought I'll sample everything um, to try and isolate the individual waveforms, I realised I was going to have to learn how the thing worked and I jotted down notes and basically ended up with lots of scribbles and sketches and effectively rewrote the manual to allow me to understand what on earth I was doing. Let's have a look then at how uh, we program one of these things. So we have a series of waveforms, about 21, and these are digitized and we read them out and give different commands inside a tone and we put a number of tones together to make a patch. It doesn't have oscillators as we know them, they're just digitized versions of the waveforms that have been stored in memory and then they're read out in a particular sequence to create a tone. Let's have a listen. These are extra waveforms, they're uh, mentioned in the manual, but there's no graphics to show what they're like. Okay, so to program a tone, we have a series of waveforms we've chosen, and we have to give a, a number of commands within a tone. So choosing our first waveform, what's going to happen to it, how loud it's going to be. So to start off, we have to choose initial volume, and here we've got a square wave, which is waveform 4 and all of the commands will happen while we're playing a particular note. So we we'll play a key and then we want to give a command to increase the volume over a set amount of time. And then we might want to change the waveform to a saw wave. So we've done this and we have the option to decide how long it takes to move from one to the other. So we have a crossfade parameter. So we've now got our um, saw wave playing, but it'll only play through once. If we want it to sustain, we have to create a loop. So we give a command to say, when you get to the saw wave, go back to the square wave and keep looping around this crossfade until I take my finger off or stop playing a note. Once that happens, we've got the note off parameter. So we take the your finger off the key and we're entering the release phase. And in this situation, what we've gone and done is chosen a very simple volume fade. So from its initial volume, we then choose a number of parameters to make it fade to zero. But it could be staying at the same volume or even getting louder when you take your finger off. To mark the end of a tone, we then have to put an off or an end command. Here 
here we have the parameters for a tone. So along the top, this is 13 parameters. We've got a few notes as to what's happening and then the parameter numbers. Bear in mind, this is a very simple tone. Some of them can be 60 or more different parameter steps. So we're now on to patches. Um, we've had a look at the waveforms. We've um, put a number of them into a tone or a number of tones. And now to be able to hear something, we need to put them into a patch. So a patch can be made up of just one tone or a maximum of 15 tones. And we have a, a range of parameters to change for each one of those tones within the patch. So how many tones are you going to use? Left or right output, detune, velocity curve, um, change the volume, uh, transpose, and which tones you're actually going to be used. And that will basically give you all the parameters for a patch. Bear in mind this green section is just for tone 1. If you were programming a patch with three tones, you then have to go to tone 2 parameters and tone 3 parameters. Okay, so that's it. Um, bear in mind that was a, a basic overview. It's a lot more complicated and uh, watch out for another video. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.